Are you kidding me? The same day that they arrived in this one as well. What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. Yes, one that strangely gets bigger with each interpretation, which would actually make sense if we lived in an alternate timeline where Raccoon City wasn't overrun by the undead. I cannot be mad at all that Claire gets her revolver without having to obtain a special key in Scenario B. Getting to play as Red Dead Redfield makes me love Claire even more than I already do. David! Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. You do know you can just go through the front door, right? Go to the front gate, pop some zombies, clear the way, and escape. There's no reason for you to escape through this parking lot. What's worse is that the game tries to cover its ass by blocking off the front door later on, as if there wasn't already an outbreak before Leon and Claire arrived, and as if the close-to-death Marvin managed to create them. Just off the line, sir? I can... Definitely buying that. Nice pickup. Oh, look Just that. Jeez. It's all yours. Requisition approved. Just what you need. Nice. Well, I think my. Nice Come on. I don't care if my internet's bad. Move, move. I need, I need to know. Okay, I definitely can't buy anything else now. Let's have a look at what we got now. Definitely not dressing up like that. I'm gonna make him look like the real butcher. Give him a shotgun. And then get him a knife. Let's find out how much. Try on new combat Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Remember your training. Make us Oh, first death. Great. Panther. Ooh. Recon airborne. Searching for targets. Oh, God damn it. Fritz 
X-Bomb mission underway. Sit the frick down, boy. Oh, okay, I didn't notice that. Sit the frick down, boy. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Down, boy. Sit the freak down. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Sit down. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Gonna go try for a go for a knife kill. Just watch this. Where is it? Oh shoot! Dropping Fritz. Run for a freaking grenade. Where he is? Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. Oh. Kidding me? We lost men today. Learn from this failure. Yeah, it's locked, but you'd be hard pressed to convince me he's off the way out of there and the police station. And that's what you're talking about. If you said it's original, this game couldn't resist having a little three quick share. Dumb limitations continue to be one of the great questions of the regular protagonists. Mr. X looks like Nick Valentine got used up on some of those delicious tea bottle steroids. This door is heavily boarded up, yet zombies will bust through it in just a few moments. But the little boards you pick up throughout the game that aren't so happy will do the trick. I'm just gonna say this right now, the body physics and gore in this game are impeccable. Um, a new standard has been achieved in horror games, and every other developer from here on out is gonna have a lot to measure up to. Watch out! I see that my boy Marvin is a big fan of the saving the hero in the nick of time cliche. Which is odd since I explored the entire lobby beforehand and he was nowhere to be found. I'm sure you did what you could have done. Does anyone know what started it? Really? Just like that, huh? Leon just automatically transitions into his police uniform when there are no lockers around and all the doors are locked with a spade key. Actually made more sense in Leon's scenario B where he did get his uniform in a locker. So nobody knows what caused this? 
There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is Hardcore team deathmatch. Light him up! Let's go, boy! Oh, shoot, another camper. Are you kidding me? I haven't got a single kill. Oh, the same guy. How do you like this? Pee off. Oh my god. Man down! Man down! Oh my god. Yes, finally. Oh shoot. Enemy striking round incoming. Get to cover. Oh, are you kidding me? Enemy care package observed. Stop there and resupply. Are you kidding me? Stupid old dry, dive trick. People use that all the time. Where was that from? <clears throat> you kidding me? <clears throat> Every time. Oh, come on. That guy, isn't it? Keeps on probably killing himself to snipe people out there. That's annoying. Package 
on the way. Protect the drop zone. Oh my god. Oh god damn it. Recon aloft. We have eyes in the sky. Our advance fade. Pull back to the MLR. How come you never mentioned the mansion incident like you did in the original? It's not like you had STARS members conducting an investigation on it or anything. Probably not this. Boy, does this scene look even more ridiculous if you wear the original costume. Because Claire couldn't possibly use that knife attached to her vest. <laughs> the most pathetic jump scare imaginable. So, we're not going to get any context for this scene this time, huh? No police officer being overrun by zombies and accidentally shooting the pilot that causes them to crash. Just a random occurrence, huh? I take it you don't have... No. No. Good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? You know, Claire. No. Phew, I quickly made that toggle action. Quickly. You can't drink that rainwater if you're feeling that thirsty. You find your brother? I did actually. He's no, Claire. You found information that Chris is in Europe. That's not the same thing as actually finding him. I tried, Leon. But I couldn't stop it. Marvin, you might as well just say, sorry, Leon. I'm the black guy in this whole. Hardcore team deathmatch. Stay wary, pick your shots! Oh, shoot. They're going around the corner now. God damn it. What? I just got shot in the head while by one of my teammates. Fall back. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. Oh! Oh, god damn it. Just got a long shot. Oh, god damn it. I almost got, like, the best. Oh, he just camped there. <laughs> Easy pickings. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Oh, God damn it. Oh god. Really the sky the sniper. Boom. Are you kidding me? That guy with the sniper needs to stop. Take the 
advantage. Keep fire. Anyone come in here? No. Alright, it's reloaded. Oh god. Oh, they're invading over there again. I must like that spot or something. I'm gonna throw a grenade over there. Oh, got him. You kidding me? I'll just go where. It feels like everyone's targeting me. Are you kidding me? These guys are sweats. They're actually sweats. Bruh. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. You kidding me? Oh my god, these guys are just sweat. story therefore I am obligated to die we can't let this thing spread we can't let this thing spread even though the entire city is already screwed and infested with zombies making my entire statement pointless so one really cool thing about this game is the defense items that were introduced in Resident Evil 1 remake return and better yet the combat knives you obtain actually have weapon degradation forcing you to carefully strategize ultimately bringing us back to our survival horror roots ah don't I just love it when everything comes full circle so, when starting scenario A, you find your way to the... police station, try to help a police officer, watch him die, get saved by Marvin, search for the spade key, hear their helicopter crash, and end up meeting Leon or Claire outside. When you start scenario B, you automatically end up at the police station, hear the helicopter crash, and meet up with Leon or Claire. That is quite the time jump, even if both of these scenarios aren't happening simultaneously. You need help. Why? Right behind you. Sherry says this before Birkin actually appears behind Claire. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, both Claire and Leon get to fight Birkin at this stage in the game. Hardcore team deathmatch. Move out and take position. Enemy inbound. Momentum. Grenades first! I think he's down! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> this gun is glass. Oh shoot. I was camper up there. We're gonna have to deal with him. Oh yeah, it's over here. Yes, it very much is. Oh, he's not there. Okay. That's dumb. X gonna give it to you. What? Are you kidding me? He's getting me, he keeps on peeking around the corner. The 
Are you actually kidding me? Oh, I almost did that. Enemy recon aircraft observed. We're winning the fight. Hi. Hi. Why? Just why? Oh, I only have a knife. Okay. Get to cover. We're breaking their backs. Why? Incoming enemy artillery. Get to cover. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, God damn it. Kidding me. Wow. <clears throat> There's no one bothered by the fact that he's there. <laughs> so, oh. I wanted the grenade in. Let's see who does one of those. That one guy that's pamper or two. Are you kidding me? so close that was actually so close oh my god I don't, what about broken in there first oh <laughs> it's killed by the grenade wow <laughs> headshot I'm loving this gun. <laughs> this gun. It's actually beast. Enemy recon oh. <clears throat> I didn't know it's that sniper guy, but I didn't know he was gonna easily shoot me. Oh god damn it. I just <laughs> oh, I missed both shots. Shoot.
Why, why did I just do that? Yeah, okay. I don't know what that is. Enemy care package observed. Stop their resupply. Really? It was that same guy though. Poking in. He's definitely hiding there again. Poking in. I just made that explode. I'm sorry, okay. You kidding me? Bro. This lobby's full of sweats. Subtle creepiness Chief Irons had in the original. Yep, let's just completely eliminate it while doubling his wickedness and douchebaggery. That would be a more compelling villain. Sherry loses the pendant even though it was wrapped around her neck, and somehow Chief Irons didn't notice it. See that Ada is also a fan of the saving the hero in the nick of time cliche. Ada wears sunglasses at night. Lower it. Yep, just like I had thought. Ada lost a lot of production and charm. 